Do you know how to write very large or very small number in scientific notation? That's what we're learning for today. Scientific notation is in the form a times 10 to the power of n. And a here should be more than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And n here is an integer. Let's try these six examples. Write each number in scientific notation. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Now let's go over the problems. Write each number in scientific notation. Recall that scientific notation is in the form a times 10 to the power of n. n should be an integer, and a should be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Question number 1. 125 million. Since it is a whole number, that means that the decimal point is at the end of this number. Writing this in scientific notation, the decimal point should be right after the 1. This way, our A value will be 1.25. And then we have times 10 to the power of n. What do you think is the value for n? To find the value of n, we simply need to count how many digits after the 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer is 1.25 times 10 to the power of 8. Question number 2, we have 750,300. It's a whole number, so the decimal point is on the right side. So now we will place the decimal point right after the 7. That way our A value is 7.503. Then we have times 10 to the power of n. What do you think is the power of n here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have times 10 to the 5th power. Question number 3. The placement of the decimal point should be after the 6. That way we will have 6.2 times 10 to the power of n. What do you think is the power of n? Notice that in this problem, we need to find how many numbers after the new decimal point. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 digits on the left. Since it's on the left, we will have a negative exponent. 6.2 times 10 to the negative 7. Remember that if you have a large number, you are expecting a positive power. If a number is less than 1, you're expecting a negative exponent. Question number 4. The new decimal point should be placed right after the 3. So we will have 3.14 times 10. And of course, we're expecting a negative exponent. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the exponent is negative 4. Number 5, 235 times 10 to the 7th power. It is in scientific notation, but it's not in simplest form. Take, take note that the A value can't be more than 10. So instead of 235, we will make it 2.35. And what do you think will happen to the power? The exponent 7 will change. We moved 1, 2 places, so the new power now is added by 2. So the answer is 2.35 times 10 to the power of 9. For question number 6, we place the decimal point right after the 2 to make it 2.35. And what do you think will happen to the power 7? If, if you place a decimal point after the 2, you have one number on the left side, so that means we need to subtract 1 from the power. 
So the answer is 2.35 times 10 to the power of 6. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.